So you're on the film emulation journey, just like me. I'm gonna spare you a bunch of time. I don't like watching those YouTube videos that go super in depth on a lot of stuff. I just wanna see why this is gonna be better than the things I've been doing before. To preface, I have done just about everything. The DCTLs, the DaVinci 19 film look generator in the, uh, in the beta. Um, I've done my own power grades workflows. I've looked at Film Vision. Film Vision is a great one, by the way. Do like that one, but it's still not quite what I want but it's good. If you've been doing your research and looking around for how to get to film animation, you know about Dehancer already, so I don't have to tell you, and you know why they're the best. So I'll just show you though, because it, it's, it's revolutionary what you can do between you know, algorithmic um, algorithmic grain that isn't just based off of like an overlay, you're not slapping an overlay on there. That same customizability from the algorithmic grain that goes across Bloom, goes across Halation, over scan then you get gate weave film breath like and i know a couple of those things have just been added to the film look generator and it's still not as good i'm gonna put i'm gonna put simply after this a video that i was that i just graded completely with the answer i'm not gonna go into workflows i'm not gonna do all that nonsense and then i'm gonna show you how easy it is to make changes to things inside of that program This is a sequence that I did for that video before that I just showed you. So, I mean, a, a simple before and after. I mean, the color that you can, and keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm not even a guy who can afford a, a camera with 10-bit color. This is 8-bit color we are looking at. 8-bit color, and it looks amazing. This is a shot on the XS10. The color fidelity that you're getting out of 8-bit footage is amazing with this. I can only imagine what people are able to do with 10, 12-bit color. This is what we're all here for, this right here. These couple of boxes, film grain, halation, bloom, film damage, film breath, gate weave, at least that's what I was in search for. Beyond the fact that you can come in here and play around with all these film stocks, one of the biggest things that you'll notice too with the answer is the options I have and not even to, to, to crap on um, this DCTL that I have as well, not even to crap on it, um, but the options for the LUTs are just gonna be the LUTs that are baked into DaVinci already. It's nothing new, it's nothing that's revolutionary. It doesn't change your process at all. You're not getting anything that's special. It's just allowing you to get a little bit further access to tweak the stuff that's already baked into DaVinci. Dehancer gives you like over, I think it's like, I don't even know how many, film stocks to start off and play with and build around and their prints are great it's exactly what i've needed for for what i'm going for at least the simplicity of it all it's a one-stop shop for your node structure i used to have very very complicated node structures to get color that i wanted now so everything is just in one node and i think that's what everybody's looking for to simplify their workflows something that is going to be quick, something easy. So, cause you're, if, you, if you're anything like me, you're already out there filming and shooting and everything and now you're chopping it all up. You just wanna speed speed up anywhere that you can, make it a little bit easier anywhere that you can. And so we're gonna keep it short and sweet. It is by far the best application to get digital footage to look analog. Check out all the links in the description. They have everything that you could possibly need, all the literature, all the links. If you're interested in trying out Dehancer, you can use code D2 at checkout for a 10% off.